Well, it's going to be a very breezy day, but also warm. Temperatures yes. today could break some records. It is still beautiful outside, though, this morning as we give you a live look from Glenwood Springs. I drove over Independence Pass yesterday. A lot of our aspens, especially over higher terrain, have lost their leaves, but still a great time to be up in the mountains, do some leaf peeping, especially closer to Denver. Lookout Mountain this morning, as you can see as the sun comes up, very little cloud coverage, and we're not expecting much in the way of any precipitation over the coming days. It's been extremely extremely dry as well for the start of this October. So fire danger is our main concern, which is why we've issued a weather action day for the Saturday. Low 60s right now, downtown and out to the airport. Winds currently sustained from the southwest at 13 miles per hour. Have already seen some very windy conditions up over higher terrain for our northern front range mountains moving over the foothills. But the fire weather warning will take effect at 11 o'clock this morning and last until 7 p.m. All of Metro Denver, west into the high country, down to the springs and out across the northeastern plains. Strong winds, low relative humidity, hot and dry. Birth had passed last recorded wind gusts there at 47 miles per hour, around 15 mile per hour winds here across the front range and eastern plains to start the morning, but through the afternoon, it will be very breezy and dry. Temperatures out the door, cooler up north, Fort Collins and Greeley in the 40s, high 50s, Aurora and Castle Rock, and into the mountains, a nice crisp start to the day. We're only in the low 30s, Gunnison down through Alamosa, high 40s now filtering in to Leadville. Your biking forecast for the metro area today expect temperatures to warm nicely and quickly. Highlands Ranch will be at 86 degrees this afternoon. Usually we see highs in the low 70s. Today, Kremlin Estes Park will be in the low 70s for highs. So here's the climate calendar. The record is 86. It was set back in 1947. Our Usuals are 70 for a high and low 40s for a low. We started off this morning at 60 degrees out at DIA, so well above average for both high and low temperatures. High Country Planner today still quite lovely over the next several days. Dry conditions and very mild temperatures. Good time to take a hike, a bike ride. No major storms in the extended forecast. Here's what it looks like as we go through the day. Strongest winds this afternoon all across the state as we get into later on this evening. Calmer conditions, so that fire weather warning is set to expire at 7 p.m. Not as windy, bright and dry for tomorrow. Temperatures will be back to the 80s for Monday and Tuesday, so we don't have a lot of relief in the way of any cooler conditions or wet weather. Warmer and drier than average in our 10 day forecast all across the region. And you can see with this front moving in, it's a dry one, but it'll bring in those gusty winds. Slightly cooler for Sunday and then warm and dry once again as we start the week. So looking ahead at our super seven day forecast, we've issued a weather action day for today. Looking great for the Broncos game tomorrow. It's going to be 80 degrees in the afternoon with low 80s as well to kick off the week and no precipitation. Lows in the 40s and 50s and 80s remain through next Friday.